This is Witchbase News for Friday the 23rd of April 2021 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Sagittarius I is back in print Phase 4 of the Alpha is next week Odyssey on PC gets a release date and there's a special Odyssey livestream next week. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. The print edition of the Elite Dangerous magazine Sagittarius I returns to virtual shelves everywhere today as the text edition of the magazine is making a return after taking a break from full time production last year. If you're relatively new to Elite Dangerous then chances are that the print version of Sag I maybe isn't unknown to you. Whilst fan created journals documenting virtual life in and around a video game are not necessarily that unique what is unique about Sag I is the quality of that journal. Sagittarius I has the quality and feel of a professionally produced magazine with glossy image laden pages with well written and formatted text that includes reviews, opinion pieces editorials, guides and interviews. Whilst the print edition of the magazine has been unavailable for some time now the podcast edition has continued but now with the flagship magazine returning to a monthly cycle once again the two products will sit nicely complementing each other. Sagi in all its flavours is completely free to download. To take a look you'll find a link in the description below. By the time you watch this video and hear my voice saying these words the snapshot for the final stage of the Odyssey Alpha test will have been taken. Late yesterday Frontier announced that the snapshot of the main game state that will be used in stage 4 of the Odyssey Alpha test would be happening at 8am UTC today and that whatever ship your character was in at the time of the snapshot will be the only ship that your character takes across to the Alpha tests final stage. The company also announced that fleet carriers will not be copied across to the Alpha but that a fleet carrier vendor may be made available at some point during the final stage. Arthur said in the livestream that we'll be restricted to the 50 light year bubble around Nervi still but Frontier have said in the last few minutes that they're not yet ready to comment fully on where in the galaxy we'll be restricted to in phase 4 so we don't yet know whether it'll be the 50 light year bubble or whether we'll have free reign to explore or something in between. Time will tell there. So here's how it's planned that phase 4 will play out. Once the snapshot is taken the next step is to bring the alpha test servers down on Monday the 26th of April. The alpha test will then be rebuilt with your main game commander and chosen ship in play on Tuesday or Wednesday of next week ...that's the 28th of April at the latest. The alpha test itself is currently officially posted as having an end date of the 30th of April but there is a chance that it will carry on a little past that date but we'd suggest that you don't make any plans for it to be available and just take it as a bonus if it is. It's worth reiterating again as I think it often gets lost in the noise the alpha test is not the full Odyssey experience ...it's just a few key features that are being tested out. The full new planetary tech for example is not in the game yet and there's going to be a ton of things that we just don't know about that will be in the full release ...Frontier having stated on several occasions that they're very keen not to spoil things. Frontier actually stated on their livestream last night that what we're seeing in the alpha test is just one small slice of what Odyssey is and that development of the main product has been continuing alongside this little slice of what we've been seeing in the alpha. And whilst we're discussing the full release Frontier also announced yesterday the release date of the PC version of Elite Dangerous Odyssey and it is the 19th of May. That's less than 4 weeks away as we record this. The team also reiterated last night that console development of Odyssey continues and it is still scheduled for release in the autumn and alongside the announcement of the release date yesterday Frontier also updated the Elite Dangerous website to better reflect the Odyssey era of the game. You'll find that linked below. And finally this week 
On the live stream last night it was announced that next Tuesdays afternoon live stream will be a somewhat special occasion with game director Piers Jackson making an appearance on the stream to talk about Odyssey's full tutorial experience which is not something we've really heard mention of before. Arthur also promised that Piers will be talking about engineering in Odyssey and the team will also be showing off the finalised version of the new planetary technology for the first time. Twitch drops will be enabled for the stream which will mean another chance to pick up the purple flight suit if you haven't got it already. To enable the Twitch drops on your account then go to the website linked in the description below, link your Frontier and Twitch accounts and then tune in live on Tuesday for the stream to earn the flight suit for your in game character. We've not had it definitely confirmed yet but the live stream on Tuesday usually happens at 16.30 UTC. If you're on PC what ship are you bringing into the final phase of the alpha? Did you get time to choose that ship or did you perhaps get caught short by surprise in a ship that you might not have chosen? If you're on console what are your plans for the start of the Odyssey era? Are you going to learn everything you can about the expansion before you get access to it or are you planning on avoiding spoilers before the expansion ships to your platform of choice? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.